Peer Systems User Setup and Maintenance, Class Code SS1.2, Revised May 2019. Login Information. New Secure Systems users are set up in the corporate office by Courtney Wegner, who is our compliance admin. As new users are being added to our portfolio and senior managers are contacting us requesting access, she will contact the user with directions on how to request access as well as what she requires from you for record keeping. It is imperative that you return documents in a timely manner so that we can get you set up quickly as well as have those documents available for agency audits. We cannot complete your setup until you have returned all of the documentation that she has requested. Step one in registering for a WAS ID the senior manager or property manager contacts Courtney to initiate new user registration. If the new user is either a senior manager or property manager, we will automatically provide access to all systems. If the new user is an assistant property manager or other site staff, we will not automatically assign access to tracks or paths. These systems can be requested by the senior manager. So the step one, you'll receive an email from Courtney with your property's tax ID number as well as an attachment outlining where to register for your ID. If you open this attachment, it will provide you step-by-step -step directions on what you need to do to register. You will go to the HUD website link and select register online. That website looks like this and you'll see register online on the left hand side. From that link, you'll select multifamily housing entity which then provides you with the form that needs to be completed to register. Please be sure that you are not selecting coordinator as your application type as you will be registering as a user. Complete this form indicating the organization name that Courtney has provided for you, which is generally your property name and the TIN number that Courtney includes in the email to you. Please note if you are not yet terminated from a prior employer, you will be unable to register for a new ID. You do need to contact your prior employer and request termination. If they are unable or unwilling to terminate you, please contact Courtney as we can put together a letter to the help desk to have your prior ID terminated. Once you have registered for your ID and we receive the alert from HUD that you have been approved for an ID, Courtney will email you with two attachments. The first one will be a detailed document outlining all items that we require from, from you. The second item will be a WASP UAAF application form in a PDF format. Please be sure to thoroughly review the Secure Systems Registration Step 2 document as it will provide you all the information you need. So for users with access to TRACS and EIB, such as property managers, your secure systems registration document will look like the below. The following documents must be submitted to us in order to proceed with your registration. Original signed documents must be ma maintained in your on-site EIB binder and scan copies uploaded to Smartsheet. This will enable the corporate office to retain copies in the event of an audit uh, being held. The five items that we require from you is your EIB UAAF signed. That is the PDF document that Courtney sent. The Cyber Awareness Certificate. Rules of Behavior for Tracks and EIB reviewed and signed. SHP EIV policy and procedure acknowledgement signed and the SHP training acknowledgement signed. Please be sure that you are taking the time to review our policy and procedure as well as the training documents that have been included with that acknowledgement and that you are reviewing the rules of behavior for tracks and EIV so that you are familiar with what is required from you for use of these systems. We request that these items be completed within 30 days so that we can continue your setup. For users who will have access to tracks only with no EIV access, 
you are still required to complete the cyber awareness certificate as well as the rules of behavior for track from EIB. If you have access to both systems, you do not need to complete these items twice. Please complete all items and load your items to the EIB checklist smart sheet. You can create a login for free using the sign up button, which will allow you to be assigned access to smart sheets you need in your daily work. Smartsheet is a program that we use in various departments, and so you will definitely want to create an account. If the email address was already used, you can use the Forgot Password button to reset the login. The first item that we ask you to complete, again, that Courtney sends you in a PDF format, and she fills it out for you. She completes this form. All you need to do is review and sign this and return us the signed copy. Please include all pages. The second item is the Cyber Awareness Challenge. This is a federal requirement. Use the link in the instructions document that Courtney has sent to you to access the training. Be sure that you are connected to a printer when you go to do the Cyber Awareness Challenge as you cannot go back and reprint the certificate. So make sure that you are uh, ready to print at that time. Print that certificate, sign it, and submit a copy to the corporate office. The rules of behavior for tracks from EIB, please review and sign and upload all pages to this smart sheet. EIV Policy and Procedure Acknowledgement, please review that policy and sign the acknowledgement, as well as the Training Acknowledgement Sheet. You'll notice on the Training Acknowledgement Sheet that we are asking you to review two HUD documents, the EIV Notice 2013-06, as well as the HUD Handbook Chapter 9 on EIV. So please be sure that you are familiar with these documents and sign the training acknowledgement sheet. Now all items will be submitted to us through the EIV employee smart sheet, which will enable us to reduce the amount of attachments that we receive in our email inbox. It's also a more secure way to transfer documents. Now, every two years within six months of hire, all EIB users are required to attend or participate in EIB training. This could be an EIB webcast, an agency-provided training, so something from a state agency or a housing agency such as Niyama or Nitchum, or this could be an internal webinar training provided by the SHP training facilitator or any combination thereof. As of April 2013, new users are required to read and familiar, familiarize themselves with the HUD Notice 2013-06, as well as Chapter 9 of the HUD Handbook. There is also a very helpful portion of the Multifamily EIB User Manual for Multifamily Housing Program users. And that is section four regarding security. So step three, after you have uploaded all five documents, Courtney will go into secure systems and do your electronic setup. Please note we cannot do your electronic setup until we've received all five items from you. You also will not be able to access any of the federal databases until we have finished your electronic setup. Step four, although you have provided us paper copies of your EIB, UAAF, and TRACS rules of behavior, HUD still requires electronic versions of these items. The EIB, UAAF will be submitted in EIB, and you must do this every October and April with all of our users. The TRACS rules of behavior will pop up for you to accept when you click on either the TRACS link or the IMAX link in Secure System. This is going to occur annually. So on an annual basis, 
you'll get a little notification that says uh, your access is locked or uh, you have uh, uh, something that needs to be done and you'll just go into secure system and look for that pop-up. To electronically submit your EIV UAAF, you'll sign into Secure Systems, access EIV, and on the left-hand side, select Authorization Form. To create your request, simply click the Create New Request button, and it will provide a form such as this for you to complete. If this is your first time requesting access for this property, in the drop-down type of action request, you will enter Certification. Once you've done this, in that contract row, you'll click the select button to view properties we have given you access to. You can highlight multiple properties in this list using the control button on your keyboard and select multiple properties. The type of work will be verifying income and eligibility for Section 8 and our affiliation is management agent. Complete the remainder of that form and click submit request. To electronically accept the Trax Rules of Behavior, simply click on the Trax or IMAX link in Secure Systems. The following form will pop up for you to review, and there will be an Accept button at the bottom of the form. After you have submitted your UAAF and EIV, please alert Courtney so that she can go in and approve it. When she notifies you that it is approved, you'll need to go back into EIV and retrieve the approved UAAF print to PDF and upload to the EIV Employee Checklist Smart Sheet. There are detailed in instructions on how to do all of these steps on the Step 4 document that Courtney will send to you. After you have supplied the approved UAAF, you are all done. At this time, you can run EIV reports as needed. Please note that under no circumstances should a user share their ID and password with another individual. If someone requires access to reports for your property, please alert the corporate office so that we can get that user set up appropriately. WAS password resets are performed online by the user at the HUD password reset website or by contacting the multifamily help desk. Again, we cannot reset your password from the corporate office. We can assist with providing access to Secure Systems, doing an email address update in Secure Systems to ensure that your forgot password links are going to the correct email address, changing your property access, whether that's EIV or TRAX, restoring a user when access is locked. If you are locked due to not accessing the systems, or not renewing on time, we can assist with restoring your use. We can also terminate user IDs. So if a user leaves employment with SHP or no longer requires access to secure systems, we can assist with terminating their user ID.